Austin voters approved moving forward with much sought after transportation projects. Ballot measures Proposition A and B both passed last night. Austin Mayor Steve Adler joins us now to talk about what this means and what's next. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. How are you today? Doing well, Amanda. Good to be with you. Good to have you here. Uh, let us start first with Proposition A, also known as Project Connect. I'm going to quote our city manager, Spencer Cronk. He said of yesterday, voters have given the green light to a once-in-a-generation opportunity to revolutionize our transportation infrastructure. Mr. Mayor, are you uh, as surprised as maybe some other people are that this is finally coming to fruition? Well, I'm not surprised because I could feel the, the, the enthusiasm and certainly the, the, the numbers of people that voted for it were overwhelming. But I tell you, I'm relieved. Uh, the city's tried to do this twice before and hasn't gotten there. Uh, I wish we had done it back then. We'd be enjoying it now. It would have been done more cheaply. But uh, now we're going to move forward. Proud to be part of a city that's embracing its future, turning away from the status quo. Uh, and, and, and I'm excited. Uh, Proposition A is a, a very big expansion for Cap Metro. It includes two new light rail lines, a new commuter rail line, new bus rapid transit line, downtown transit tunnel, three metro rail bus routes, more park and rides, and neighborhood connectors. It comes with a pretty big, hefty price tag, which is why you needed the taxpayers' help. And that's true, you know, but it does a lot. Uh, you know, if traffic in Austin is horrible, if we're going to do something about it, we really need to do something at scale. This this project will take 250,000 uh, car trips off the, the street every day. Uh, if we're going to do our responsibility for climate change mitigation, we have to do this kind of project. And we've seen during the pandemic that we don't live in as equitable a city uh, as we would like to. And mobility equity is a big part of that. Uh, this is going to get stations close to, to the income restricted housing all over the city. Uh, it's the right thing to do now. It does cost money, not anywhere near as much as the opposition was telling people that wasn't true. Uh, but for what we'll pay, we'll get a lot. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that property tax uh, increase. Uh, what is the uh, uh, anticipated financial impact that this will have on the average homeowner in the city of Austin? Well, for the average homeowner in the city of Austin, it'll be about 78 cents a day. Uh, it's a little under 4% of your total tax bill. Uh, what other people were saying about double digit increases on your tax bill, simply not true. Uh, but for that 78 cents a day for the average uh, homeowner, again, we get so much. Uh, and this is something that we've been decades in, in, in waiting for. Uh, what happens next before we talk about Proposition B in terms of Proposition A? Well, what happens next on Project Connect Proposition A is we'll, we'll form up that independent oversight board that's uh, uh, been given the responsibility to make sure that the project happens on budget and on time. Uh, we're going to work with the federal partners to, to, to move forward. They're excited about Austin doing this project. The first lines are ones that go over to the Eastern Crescent um, uh, uh, on uh, uh, on the east side of town uh, near Dove Springs. Uh, and, and that area, Pleasant Valley Road. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, and then we, we will do the work with the community to, to start figuring out uh, how best to platoon the $300 million in anti-displacement strategies to preserve neighborhoods and communities. Mm -hmm. uh, and now for Proposition B, that passed with approximately 65% approval. It allows the city of Austin to borrow, if I'm correct here, $460 million for infrastructure improvements. It does. Proposition B passed by an even greater number than the great number that passed Proposition A. Uh, clearly, this community wants mobility choices in addition to, to driving cars. Most people are still going to drive their car, but uh, some people would love to have a, an actual viable choice that's fast. Uh, and that's what Proposition B does. You know, people uh, are not going to ride bicycles uh, in this city so long as they're on sidewalks. Uh, that feels dangerous. Dangerous, as long as they're driving next to cars, that feels dangerous. Uh, but this will help us build out 80% of the bicycle network. Uh, we've seen in cities that if you get a protected bike system, if you improve the sidewalk, safe route to schools, uh, more people will take care, take advantage of that option as well. The city has spoken. Uh, Mayor Adler, uh, as always, we know you have a very busy schedule, and we thank you for joining us this morning. Talk a little bit about what happened yesterday.
Thanks for the invite on. Mm -hmm.